Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. I am going to make chicken tinga today, which is a Mexican dish. I figured it's about time I started learning how to use some of these ingredients that I pass in the supermarkets and I'm like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? I'm in Mexico, why not learn how to cook some Mexican dishes? And I'm gonna start with chicken tinga. What is tinga? You know, it's funny, I don't really see it a lot on, even when I go to the mom and shop Mexican restaurants. So I'm wondering if it's something that you just kind of cook up in your house. It's not really like restaurant worthy or, you know, a restaurant style dish. Because as a Jamaican, I certainly know a thing or two about just cook up dishes where you just cook up some saltfish, cook up some mackerel, those kind of things where you're not gonna really serve or see in a restaurant, but it's definitely a favorite at home. I'm guessing this is one of those dishes. One of my favorite creators on TikTok, she is, I think she's of Mexican heritage, but she does live in California. I saw this recipe on her TikTok. I'm going to leave her um, link below so you can go check her out. I love her little family. But yeah, I'm going to give this dish a try because it seems like a good entry level dish and it's like an easy um, way for me to learn how to cook Mexican dishes here. And so let's get started. Um, in this one little dish, by the way, it also showed me some different cooking techniques that I'm not really used to as a Jamaican. You're going to see what I'm talking about as we go along with the recipe. So. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Monique. I'm a Jamaican living in Mexico. I've been here for almost two years now and welcome to my life. So let's get started. Chicken tinga. The first thing that you're going to do is boil some chicken breast. That's the part that I'm talking about that I'm not used to doing in my kitchen. Like we don't really boil chicken at Jamaica unless we make chicken soup. So it was very weird to me to dump four unseasoned chicken breasts in a pot of water to boil it but you know what the end result was pretty good i've done this twice now not chicken tinga i've boiled chicken breasts to make shredded chicken and use that to make chicken salad and to make you know chicken salad where you put mayonnaise and you know cream a creamy chicken salad and then you have chicken salad where you make a salad with nice fresh greens and you put chicken on it yeah man the shredded chicken as long as you season the pot, it's actually very good for that style of chicken. So now I'm actually going to use it in chicken tinga, which is why I had started to shred chicken anyway and still didn't get around to actually making the tinga. We're going to make tinga today, so let me get my chicken. I'm going to be using this pot from my karoti pot set to boil my chicken. It's just four chicken breasts, as I said, skinless, boneless chicken breasts with whole heap of water, cover them in water. Um, two bay leaves, some chicken bouillon, a piece of onion, and three garlic cloves. And as I said, this is not the exact recipe. This is not a recipe video. I'm gonna leave her link down below so you can get exact measurements or she don't really measure things neither. You know, us ethnic people, we don't really do the measurement thing, but that's the, the basic gist of it. But let me tell you something. You see these pots? I've been using them for about a month now and they are so good. They have been giving me life. So I'm going to leave, I'm gonna drop in a video here unboxing the pot set because the chicken breast I'm going to take about 45 minutes to an hour to boil up so may have like a time so go and watch the unboxing of the pot set because if you're in the market these pots are a must <laughs> oh my god I got a package package I bought this on amazon.com it took it was I think the package cost me $70 with another almost $40 shipping and customs and all of that because when you buy from Amazon US and if the package is over $50 or the, whatever you buy is over $50 you have to pay import fees so the shipping the import fees all of that came up to like almost $70 too but I think it was worth it for what I bought now if you want to save on some of that you can buy on Amazon MX. This never depend on that. I don't think, did I check? I, I always do my comparisons and sometimes the price is the same. Sometimes Amazon MX is quite a bit more expensive. So six or one half dozen the other, as we say in Jamaica. Anyway, I'm excited for this package. Let's see what it is. A long time, you know, it's a package big so Because imagine shipping to Jamaica. Enough said. The import duties here are much cheaper than what they are in Jamaica. So you already know what kind of set this is. So we had pots and pans before and I gave away the majority of them, the ones that were good because my mom was kind of doing a little food business here. And so some of the, the, the pots that we had went through a beating. They went through a beating. So I was just like, I want a nice new pretty pot set as my little gift to myself starting over here. And wow. <laughs> You don't know how long I poured over these pots to try and decide on the right ones, how much 
set and how much parts I need in the set, what accessories, a whole heap, a whole heap. I don't know. When I'm making any kind of big purchase and accept it all, I pour over the reviews. I go on and on and on. I think I made a good decision. Yeah, the handles, they look pretty. I'm so excited. I can't wait to actually cook a meal in my new pot. Ooh. So I poured over every little detail. Like there were other brands of similar, because these are ceramic coated pots or something like that. I'll leave the link so you can go check out the actual details or whatever. Some of them never have even these little pour things on the side, these spouts. So I was like, well, if I'm making a sauce or if Marla make like a ramen or whatever, I'm gonna wanna, it's, it's just more convenient. So even that went into the decision of which pots to buy, right? I want everything. All right, here's another pot. Ooh, nice big pot. Nice big pot. I don't know what I'm gonna do in this because it's kind of big, but again, it has the, and I just, me a munchkin. <laughs> so, I don't know what I cook for, but that would be good for soups. Uh, well, that's that. For stews, I mean like curry chicken, stew chicken, them kind of something there. And then I got these with it, which I have a bunch of these already, but they are nice to have to match your little set. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. These are rubber. What are you packaging? My word. Oh, frying pan. So the egg and some, I love egg. I love egg. Nothing else me love more than egg and bread. But you know, they're fucking dieting right now. I feel like I'm going fishing. <laughs> in this hell of a box all right i'm gonna take nothing else left in that box i think it was five pots and a tree something there Ooh. so another frying pan saucepan saute pan i love the size of these that i got so this are for egg and this are for bacon a joke <laughs> but how am i stay how am i look up my new little pot set and i'm not all set but my pot oh you mean <laughs> all right so in my pot i have my three bay leaves it was supposed to be two, but nobody watched that. We're going to put some chicken bouillon. That should be enough. All right, maybe that. And then I'm going to put half of an onion and three garlic cloves in there. And that's it. About 10 minutes in, you're going to see the white foam come up on the top of it. You just skim that off and then let it boil until you reach about an hour. And so join me back here for that. So we're not at full boil yet, but you're going to start seeing some little impurities come up to the top you want to skim off them something on. yeah man this is the other piece of the onion that's in the pot i'm gonna chop this up and these are the spices that we're gonna need for the, the tinga sauce ajo in polvo which is garlic powder onion powder cebolla comino which is cumin and salt and pepper so i need to get the salt but i feel like you see i'm gonna change up with people them recipe already i feel like this recipe would do really well with some italian herbs some paprika so those are going in it too. Okay, you know, we have to change up the recipe a little bit. You know how it go when you are cook, when you are cookies. <laughs> Mine chop off your finger. Mom. <laughs> yes, the knuckle is supposed to guide the knife. Not working. Then I have to go. In another pot, I am going to boil two tomatoes and a piece of onion that we started to chop up, or munchkin started to chop up before. I was like, no, I don't chop the onion. <laughs> so that's why it's in pieces. And then I thought I had more tomatoes, but I don't. So hopefully these grape tomatoes are as juicy as the big tomato. We're going to see. The chicken's done. So we're going to shred the chicken first. The pieces and put them in this extremely large bowl and you're gonna see why in un minutos this is what we're working with and in that pretty so this is what we're looking like just yeah just plain white chicken men are used to them something yeah. but we're gonna shred it so another another trick that i learned from that same creator instead of using a fork to shred the chicken which can take some time you use one of these thingamajiggies and in two seconds, your chicken is shredded. The chicken is all nice and 
shredded in tiny uniform pieces perfect for tacos or chicken tinga i can where was this method my entire life like i just want to have shredded chicken in my fridge at any time ready to make into tacos quesadillas burritos to put on my salad or to make chicken salad like this is a genius meal prepping hack because especially for me who eat chicken breasts and not chicken leg or thigh no matter how you cook the chicken breast and put it in the fridge and, ni and it nice and juicy put it in the fridge you take it out it tough so i like this method much better but you're gonna need the big bowl because as you saw chicken was flying everywhere when i was shredding all right step number two i also had the tomatoes and stuff boiling so we're gonna make the sauce in a ben in a blender i'm gonna put the tomatoes and the onion in here oh child our sweetheart so i don't know if this work because i don't know if any any juice left in the um the little baby grape tomato them but that's okay because my sister used some of the water where she boil in a too i'm not about to drain off too much of the water i'm just to take up everything you see this is why the, the onion never did for chapel i know me i tried to cut the little tiny piece of water water so this i'm gonna put this entire can of chipotle peppers hope they're not spicy for certain some people not all the name <laughs> it smell no spice that's why we had dumped the whole can in there so this is chipotles in adobo sauce very common here we never see it in jamaica yet maybe i'm just not looking because i don't know if i'm what i'd use this for in jamaica maybe my beef and so and then your powder seasoning them so we're gonna blend this but before i do that i'm just gonna strain out what was left in this pot because i know i use too much pot 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 this is why i love these pots you know because i may use a one paper towel to just wipe out the pot i will clean as new again i'm gonna just spend one hour boiled chicken in there and the pot clean and ready again yes i am that woman that's when i'm in the kitchen cooking 500 paper towel use I think it wanted a little bit more water now. And if you don't like bits and pieces of onions, I guess you could have blended it in the salsa. But may I do it like when me the she do. So may I go and work with fear style for now. It smells delicious, doesn't it? it smells spicy. <laughs> Add your salsa to your pot. It's hot, it's bubbling up immediately. Damn. It's okay. And then dump your chicken in. It's scaring me. Step back a little. And here is where you taste and adjust for seasoning. But this is pretty much it, guys. This is chicken tinga. You load it up on top of a tostada with sour cream, cheese if you want, whatever you want. But this is pretty much it. It's shredded chicken in Maria the chicken video. This is pretty much chicken in a chipotle sauce i cannot wait to dig in i'm gonna try it right now and see if it needs any more se um, seasoning let's try chicken tinga for the very first time oh my god it's so good mm. oh my god that is so good Mm -mm, never try this and it's not too spicy you're gonna like it mm -mm. that is really good mexico yeah this is our finished product you like the papaya okay they don't like papaya look at her face <laughs> she don't like papaya and now we're gonna try my chicken tinga let's see if it come on all of y'all dig in and let me know okay dig in let me see <laughs> How are we liking it? I like my 
flavor. Mm-hmm. It's really good. It's juicy, honey. <laughs> Nobody can say my chicken dress dry. Chicken dress. My chicken breast dry. And the sauce, the chipotle sauce. It's, it's not spicy. Okay. It's I like spicy. that. I like it's that. Hot. It's hot. It's <laughs> <laughs> hot. Right? Amira, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> you did? Okay. Is it spicy? Once these are the teenagers going back in, we know it's good. We know it's good. <laughs> well, it up, like, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, chicken tinga. That is a hit. <laughs> okay, this is my plate right here. I got two for now. But I added feta cheese on top and some of this sauce. This is another new to me sauce that I found here in Mexico. It is super spicy. You can see it has these chipotle peppers it well these peppers i don't know which peppers those are let's see yeah i don't know which peppers those are but it's super spicy but super flavorful okay let's dig in all right let's try i'm excited mm. Mm. <laughs> mm, that's so good <laughs> mm. that's how you know the food good when you start dancing girl oh you, you gotta eat it like i eat it how? So, you know, when I eat you always say, what do I always do when I eat? Oh, child, the pepper just hit me in the back of my throat. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mexico, you did a thing with that joint. Mm -hmm. Go make some chicken tinga. 